we've come back to Slough Creek in Yellowstone National Park. And uh, it's great to be back. We just love it here. It's one of our favorite places in the world. And it's fun to come back now, two years after our last visit, because in the meantime, we created the Slough Creek game map for Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition. And it's interesting to come back and see how well did we do with that game map? How well does it capture the real place? And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think it does capture the, both the, the vast open space as well as, as well as the kind of the intimacy of all the little nooks and crannies of, of the area. But of course, it's not perfect. It's a game map for an indie game. Um, it has to run on a wide variety of computers. And uh, so there's a lot of things that aren't quite right. And some of those things we're trying to address, some of those things are just sort of the nature of the business. And so I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at a few of those as we explore today. For example, the path, the wagon trail that runs through alongside First and Second Meadows and onward upward into Montana um, wasn't in the game map until recently. So that's something we've now fixed, took a while. Just again, gotta take some time to um, add it. So that was a relatively easy one, much harder than that. For example, over here, we have a very, very dense Douglas fir forest. I mean, look at this thing. This is basically impenetrable for uh, humans and perhaps for wolves too. This is why animals make animal trails and that everybody shares and uses to get around in the woods because this is so dense. Nature is just messy, very, very messy. And nature doesn't have to worry about polygon counts and rendering costs, and it doesn't have to worry about budget either. It's got millions of years to create this environment that we try to recreate on a on our relatively modest game budget. And so we have to, for both gameplay and performance reasons, make the woods much less dense. And there are many places in Yellowstone where the woods are much less dense, just not, not on the slopes here, um, the southern slopes of Slough Creek. Well, here's something else that's not in the game right now. Bison patties. You know, there's a lot of bison in Yellowstone, and that means there's an awful lot of bison patties in Yellowstone. If you go hiking pretty much anywhere, you're going to run into more than one. And uh, they're not in the game just because they're small things, little details in the environment. And I thought about it, thought about ways to put it in without hurting performance. Um, we just haven't taken the day or two that it would take to uh, put them in. But maybe someday. There's a lot of places we haven't been to in Slough Creek and uh, we're not going to get to them all on today's hike but there's one place I've been wanting to go to for years and today we're going to go take a look. So it's this way downstream. So just around the bend from First Meadow is this canyon. Slough Creek rushes down falling steeply down to get into the Lamar Valley. So here is what I was calling Boulder Canyon when I was working on it initially for the game map. And you know, that ain't wrong. Look at how many boulders there are. And in fact, when I was making the map initially, I put in a lot of boulders because I could tell from satellite images, they don't just chock full of them. Um, but then they had issues with performance, with all the um, meshes to render, and had issues with the wolf uh, physics on these boulders and stuff, so I had to really cut back on the number of boulders that are in this boulder canyon. That's another way that we try as hard as we can, but in some ways the game gets it wrong. You don't have that, this kind of density of boulders as in the real world. While in Yellowstone, we also saw a lot of cool animal things like these elk. This herd of elk wandered down into the Gardner River and just hung out there, chilling. It was not a hot day, but maybe it is for them because they're getting their winter coats. And uh, we just watched them for half an hour and they just all stood there occasionally, very occasionally shifting positions. We have a lot of behaviors for elk in the game, but we don't have that. So that goes on the list of something that, uh, that we can add that would be cool to see now and then in the game. And so now, back at home, back at work, while Miko's working on Slew Creek Multiplayer and Tommy's been refactoring some pathfinding and navigation and movement functionality and Andre's been cranking through, uh, getting pretty far down the bug list, I've, uh, inspired by all this stuff we saw, 
I've been working on little improvements to the environment. Here you can see um, I've been adding more understory and ground clutter in the forests. They're still nowhere near as dense as in the real world, but you know, it's one step closer. And there's some new tree stumps. There's a, it, it struck me how many dead trees and tree stumps there were. And so we've got a couple new tree stump models that I think look much better. And they're much more common when you're around in the trees. There's also this new snowberry bush. It uh, covers a lot of the ground in the forests and more just down logs, down trees, um, that kind of thing, just to, these are still not obstacles when you're running around because I just think that would be super annoying. Wolves, I'm sure, are good at jumping over or ducking under these things, but the game is not an obstacle course. So you don't have to worry about that, but visually I think it takes it one little step closer to what the real thing looks like. We've also been testing out a new tree shader that I think uh, looks much better. So that will probably show up in the next patch as well. And in Slough Creek, I've been meaning to add fireweed for a while. And so here it is, along with more of these tree stumps and, and the summertime snowberry bush in the wooded areas. So that was how I spent my summer vacation and time since getting back. All this stuff will show up in the next patch, which is coming in a week or two probably. And we are making really good progress on Slough Creek multiplayer. I think we'll show something about that in the next dev blog. So stay tuned.